Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The profile of energy storage has risen in recent months following the unveiling of Tesla's Powerwall home battery system. Skalk Berger gives us an overview of how to unlock the benefits of energy storage. Hi Skalk. Hi. What is the Powerwall and what is the significance of its development? The Powerwall is a home energy storage system. It's developed by Tesla Energy under um, the well-known inventor and entrepreneur Elon Musk. The Powerwall is significant because it brought energy storage into, uh, um, into the public domain. Um, people started thinking about energy storage in their homes. I mean, it's not, and it became not just an academic and, or an electrical engineering topic. However, it is not the first home energy storage system. Um, there are some local South African manufacturers um, that have developed home energy storage systems um, well before the launch of the Powerwall earlier this year. Some experts argue that energy storage is a far broader subject. It is a very broad subject. It can include any of the methods of energy storage. I mean, we can talk about flywheels, hydro pumped, uh, uh, hydroelectric pump storage schemes, and your traditional lithium-ion batteries like in your cell phone or lead-acid batteries in your cars. The key consideration for the deployment of energy storage systems, specifically for electricity use, um, is how fast they can be charged and discharged. How rapidly they can be charged and discharged would determine where um, they would be deployed, would be that residential, commercial, industrial, or utility. It is important to note that energy storage um, is not common. Only 1% of, of electrical energy generated um, is stored, and 98% of that is in hydro uh, schemes. What are the benefits of energy storage systems? Um, Energy storage um, will enable renewable sources um, to be more effectively um, um, applied to the grid. Um, if we can store, because um, your renewable sources generally are variable, um, so if you can store them and dispatch them when you need, it will enable them to be integrated into your grid um, more effectively. Um, at the same time, um, energy storage, um, if uh, applied to non-variable or base load um, generation, will enable excess energy to be stored when it's not directly consumed, for example, very early in the morning or late at night, because base load tends to be non-variable. Um, what that means is that it, uh, we would then need a, a smaller maximum base load um, to support the grid and to ensure that it's stable. Energy storage, um, specifically at the, at the utility scale, would enable trading of power between countries uh, more effectively, um, thus enabling a block of countries to have more stable electricity grids. Um, there are some risks associated with uh, energy storage, specifically because we don't understand fully um, their use and their functioning, how, how we can manage um, a very complex um, um, uh, a system with, with different forms of generation and different forms of storage. Uh, one of the drivers for energy storage includes, includes reducing grid instability. Uh, South Africans, we, we, we are quite familiar with, uh, with instability of, of the grid during peak demand times. Uh, ESCOM would, uh, would typically cut off portions of the grid to ensure that it can meet demand for the rest of the grid. What research is being conducted in this area internationally and in South Africa? In South Africa, the Council for, for Scientific and Industrial Research um, is conducting uh, multifaceted research um, that includes storage of hydrogen gas, um, hydrogen fuel cell technologies, and the infrastructure associated with that. Um, they're also looking at various battery technologies, um, such as, for, for example, your advanced lead acid batteries, your lithium ion batteries, of which the Tesla Powerwall is one example. The CSR is also looking at um, how um, energy storage and new and existing generation would interact and how would they will be managed collectively. Energy storage, as said, is a very multifaceted subject um, and uh, several other South African institutions and government institutions are doing research on related topics. Um, internationally, um, the Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand, um, the Australian Clean Energy Council, and the Reactivity and Chemistry of Solids Laboratory in France is doing um, good research as well. And uh, just, uh, just, just to mention, the Clean Energy Council of Australia notes that energy storage will, will complement the accelerated rollout um, of renewable energy sources. What this means for South Africa is that we can use um, our abundant renewable energy sources um, more effectively if we have a, a, a sufficient amount of energy storage. In South Africa specifically, that, that means our sunshine, where um, it's a variable source, but at the same time, if we can harness it, it is a lot of energy that we can use. Thank you. 
That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.